While I was away, Daytime Buffalo got an inside look at the design process of an exclusive new era cap. Kate Glazer sat down with the very special creative minds behind their recent collaboration with the Special Olympics of Western New York. Check it out. here at New Era headquarters in downtown Buffalo and super excited to be here with Erica from Special Olympics and Julia who is also very excited to be with us today and she designed the official cap for Special Olympics for the upcoming season. So we got to really sit through that process, watch her design with her designer Maria and really just share in the excitement of this all. So talk about the excitement of being here and how you're feeling you know, designing this, this awesome cap. Oh, I am so excited because, I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, what they do here and they're helping the Special Olympics out. Yeah. I mean, and I know this is the first time ever to, to, um, but the Special Olympian gets to do this, so it's pretty awesome. Julia, how long have you been involved in Special Olympics? Um, I have been involved for a long, long time. A long yeah, time. Yeah. Very, very nice. And Erica, to watch her design this cap, how did it feel from your perspective to see how much thought she put into it? It's amazing. Julia is absolutely incredible, but it also shows how important these partnerships are. Uh, New Era coming to us and saying, hey, this is something that we could do. We can show their abilities. And that's the biggest thing with Special Olympics is we don't focus on the disability, we focus on the ability. So her coming up with this design all by herself, I'm so proud of her and it's amazing to see the final product and we're excited to feature it. Yeah, so talk about Special Olympics. Before we dive into the, the um, cap that Julia designed, what does Special Olympics offer to individuals like Julia? So Special Olympics is actually the largest amateur sports organization in the world. Right here in Special Olympics New York, we have over 42,000 Special Olympic athletes, which is quite a number, but that's only that's less than 5% of people with intellectual disabilities. So we're always looking to get more athletes involved. Um, but it's right here in Western New York. Julia is one of almost 3,000 athletes that we have. Um, and we serve people with and now with our unified programming without intellectual disabilities, bringing sports to them in 22 different Olympic style sports. Amazing, and it's all throughout New York State or really Special Olympics is around the world, correct? Correct, yeah, Special Olympics is international, so we're in over 160 different countries, um, but Special Olympics New York is the largest program in North America and we're the sixth largest in the world. Amazing, so some of the phrases that Julia used on that cap is unity and friendship and hope. Is that something that really resonates with you as well, watching all the Special Olympics athletes? Absolutely. She actually took our Special Olympic motto, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. And she was able to put that in, in her design, which is so important because that's something that our athletes live by. So Julia, talk about your design. You actually had like paperwork before you even yeah. got here. You yes, were really thinking about yeah. it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Why did you think of the torch and the different elements in your cap? Well, I thought that the torch symbolizes everything that, that we strive for because I mean, we, 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 all, we, we all strive to get that gold medal, yeah. so yeah. And then I, 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 I thought about, okay, so what have I gained from the Special Olympics? And I thought, okay, so I gained friendship, so that has to be on it. Unity, unity, because the, the, the Special Olympics as a whole have gave me so much, you know? Yeah. And then friendship, unity, real respect. I gained a lot of respect from everyone here. Yeah. And talk about, Erica, where this cap is going. What is the future of this cap that Julia sat here at New Era designing? Yeah, so our, we're hoping to fit as many athletes as we possibly can with this cap, and um, we'll, we'll try to feature it at our state games coming up, right? Yeah. And Julia's a designer, so I mean, with her power and in her positive attitude, the, there's no 
there's no end in sight. So um, we're excited to show it with our partners, especially our law enforcement partners, because we have the Flame of Hope, which is the symbol for Special Olympics on there. And really quickly talk about New Era and their partnership. You had said they had come to you with this idea, but really the um, just the positive aspects of having a partner like New Era. It's incredible. Um, so you, it's one of those rare things that you find in, when a partnership just works and, and the fact that we're both sports organizations and we're coming together and getting our athletes involved. Like that is so important just to have that aspect of what they think and, and how they want things to do. So the fact that Julia was able to design this is something that we don't see all the time. Uh, but we're working to find more partnerships like that because they embrace Julia's ability, not her disability. Well, congrats, Julia. Thank you. This is Thank so you. exciting. Yes. I yes, can't wait to see that cap when yeah. it comes to fruition. And more to come on that because that cap is going to be unveiled in a couple of weeks right here on Daytime Buffalo. So stay tuned for all the good fun. Thank you guys for being here today. Thank you. Thank you.